What's up, everybody? It's your boy Titan Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a sneaker that I hit on the Nike Sneakers app, but somehow the holiday shipping has I've been bit by that holiday shipping bug. I just received this sneaker, so I'm just not able to bring this review to you guys with the sneaker in my size but before we get into that i need a couple things from you hit that like button do hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen also do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i come back with another video on this channel sub up to the channel if you haven't already and do leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at today now the sneaker that i'm talking about or about to talk about uh it's actually still sitting on shelves you can probably get it on sale in the near future but i want to participate in that but however i'm not so lucky with my shoe size will be available once they go on sale i'm talking about none other than the jordan full olives you see the box flight on top in white you got that pale vanilla jordan jump man uh, you got that splatter all over and here's a look at the box tag and I'm gonna read it out to you guys it says Air Jordan 4 Retro SE Craft and the color is medium olive and pale vanilla this is a size 15 personal pair and I believe these were 200 or 210 dollars retail you gotta mat it out top so you do not have a lot stamping in here. You got your uh, paper with the splat all over. Smooth on one side, rough on the other. Also additional white tissue inside of the box. And you do have a green and white. There you go, YCM sticker right there. That's everything that comes in the box. So let's get into the shoe. Here we go guys, we have the Air Jar Retro 4 SE Craft in the out of green colorway. We got a few different materials on here, uh, different texture materials on here. So let's jump right into the sneaker. You have an overall olive sneaker, it's all olive, but you do have smooth new buck in uh, this area right here. And on the toe, you do have a little nappy type suede right here going down the eyelets and your matted uh area where the, the uh, netting would normally be is matted right here in olive uh and you do have that nappy suede going around that toe box right there you got your uh leather wing extenders right here in black you got that black waffle it seems to be semi-translucent looking at the uh midsole is a sailless looking color is not naturally white and you got that black right here and you do have a clear bubble with the white inside here this uh insole is a polyutherane made insole and you got a hit of the gray right here which leads to the outsole this outsole looks very familiar guys this is the same outsole or very close to the outsole that came on the craft the gray pair that came out earlier this year you got your herringbone traction with the pale vanilla hit there and the Jordan Jumpman logo. White there in the middle, a little gray there and some black there. And you do have the stars on the toe. You have stars on the toes of the Jordan 4s. You do have a semi-translucent black tag on the back with a pale vanilla Jordan Jumpman on the back. Uh, looking in the medial side of the sneaker, you got a black leather wing extender with the semi-translucent uh, molded eyelet right there and you got more of that nappy olive suede right there on the uh, quarter panel of the sneaker you got that smooth new buck coming around here in the olive colorway coming from the other side and the suede is even nappier going around your mud guard your midsole is that same light uh, sailish or light white colorway clear bubble white inside again and you got that black hit and another hit of the stars let's go inside the sneaker this is the tissue that comes with the sneaker here you go with the toolbox you got a little change of 
direction with the uh the new buck right there and your uh the tongue is molded with that uh pattern all the way up to here you do have a black woven patch pale vanilla john jumpman logo flight in white and here we go on the back of the sneaker See, it's Aaron Jordan. You got the uh, olive laces, flat olive laces. Come factory lace with those. These are the only laces that these can with. Uh, the insert does come out. Here you go. You have a black insert, pale vanilla Jordan jump. Man, side fitting sticker on here. And this is another one, another dream cell insert. And try to give you guys a good look at that size and tag read it to you it says size 15 production date is march 29th of this year to august 22nd of this year so almost five months of production with these so guys let me know your thoughts on the sneaker uh you can probably get it on sale in the coming weeks with the christmas holidays coming up because these didn't originally sell out but do to my size your boy can't sit around and wait on the sale because my size will be gone i kind of like these it's a nice fall sneaker but let me know your thoughts on the air john retro 4 olive se uh craft so the fit on these i go up in my jordan fours because they tend to run exact so i go up so most of you guys out there would be able to go up a half a size me myself i had to go up to a size 15 because there is no size 14 and a half so uh make sure you keep that in mind when you're trying to buy these sneakers when they do hit that sale price uh with that being said that's pretty much it uh be on the lookout for the own foot and i got a lace swap option that i will put in uh the laces are in the house i have them right here i just keep it a little secret right now and wait till you see that on foot for those laces but that's in the video like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker i'm titanic feed jack signing out